Now let us look at the solution to question number 3. Now question number 3 belongs to the writing section. It is your short composition question. Precisely it asks you are Dhruv or Nidhi, student editor of your school magazine The Buds. Write a notice in not more than 50 words to be placed on your school notice board inviting short stories, articles, poems etc. from students of all classes for the school magazine. Give all the necessary details. So for those of you who remember short composition strictly asks you to write in 50 words in the given format. So, as far as the distribution of marks is concerned, the format carries one mark. In case of a notice, you have to include in your format issuing authority, name of the institution per se, the word notice, date heading along with writer's name with the designation given. Once you have given that then the second part of the marking is going to talk about the content that you write which carries two marks along with the expression of writing carrying one mark precisely grammatical accuracy and spellings. For those of you who have a tendency to go overboard with writing keep a check on the word count precisely the purpose of writing the notice which is inviting content for school magazine should be the first thing highlighted as far as the value point is concerned. Secondly, eligibility which is eligible for students of all classes given in the question has to be mentioned. Thirdly, the appeal of notice has to be generated either through the title or the heading or even in the first introductory line. Similarly, time, date, area or the location where the details have to be asked for should be mentioned and lastly, the last date for submitting names should be precisely there. So, as far as the template goes, I begin with the name of the school, I write the word notice, on the left hand side comes the date and in the middle again write a catchy heading so that the notice is attractive enough followed by the content of the notice ending with the name and designation of the concerned person. So, when you read it as simple as look at the heading creativity calls write ups for school magazine. The purpose of the notice has to be highlighted simply put up as for the hidden writer in you it is time to shine in the the buts. For those of you who are not able to pinpoint all the elements once I have written the name of the organization notice word date and heading the format bit is complete along with it I have mentioned the name of the person writing the notice and the designation of the same. Similarly when it comes to the main body the appeal of the notice is already mentioned for the hidden writer in you it is time to shine in the buds the buds being the name of the magazine all the students are hereby urged to submit short stories articles poems etc for the school magazine latest by 6th January 2020 Monday before 2 pm to the undersigned. For further details contact in the activity room. The necessary details have to be restricted within 50 words and then you are eligible to score an entire FOMA. So for those of you who have a tendency to forget the question carries 4 marks precisely and if I have given all these details then I get 4 on 4. Now similarly if I look at the option given in the same composition the same option is highlighted here again carrying 4 marks but this is an advertisement question it says you are Vinod or Vinita general manager global solutions Meerut you want to rent a bungalow to be used as a guest house it should have all the modern amenities draft a suitable advertisement in not more than 50 words to be published in a local newspaper so this comes in the category of classifieds advertisement the distribution of marks remains the same the content of the advertisement is going to carry two marks out of the given four the format carries one mark and the expression again carries one mark now what are the value points that I keep in mind keep heading simple in this case accommodation wanted similarly the type of house bungalow to be used as a guest house should be mentioned moreover size floor number of rooms etc have to be laid out Similarly, fixture and fittings, all the modern amenities that are specified in the question should be part of the advertisement and surroundings which are centrally located facing a park, nearby market, school, hospital, bank etc. 
can be mentioned in the question. They are not all compulsory, but you can pick and choose. And similarly, company or bank lease preferred is a detail which is optional and can be considered while writing the advertisement. Also, expected rent which can be either fixed or negotiable has to be mentioned in the advertisement followed by the contact address and phone number of the given person. Now, if you look at the word limit, it is precisely 50 words. Do not go beyond these 50 words and keep a check on the writing format. Sentences are not part of advertisement here, so you have to pick phrases or clauses. Now, as far as the sample is concerned, you begin with the heading of the advertisement in the middle, accommodation wanted precisely. Give the details of the advertisement in a single para, but no sentences allowed. So, you can simply write required a newly built bungalow to be used as a guest house in South Delhi, South Delhi being the area where you are looking for it, having six bedrooms with attached baths equipped with modern amenities and parking, park facing near school, bank and shopping complex, rent rupees 45,000 per month or negotiable is also specified. If interested, contact Mr. Vinod, Ms. Vinita, General Manager, Global Solutions, Meerut, given contact number is mentioned. Do not create sentences because that is going to cost you marks. Phrases are only thing that are permitted here. Now, I hope the explanation was satisfactory. If you have got this right, you will get 4 on 4 essentially. With this, let us proceed to question number 4 in the writing section. 